All right, guys, got a treat for you, small block Chevy guys. I know there's still a lot of you guys that run small blocks. I'm a small block guy, always have been. Now, what these are is a set of Pro Max 200s. Overall, they look pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's always something to nitpick about, you know. The valve job looks pretty good, but it's got a nasty, nasty ridge. Uh, they do come with a quickie hand blend. I'm not sure the guys that are doing these hand blends know what they're doing. If you run your finger down, you know, the transition from your throat to your bowl, I'm not going to say that's the best it could possibly be. I originally thought this was a copy of a dart head, but now I think it's a copy of a Brodex. And uh, it's interesting how they did the the roof of that intake. It, it's it's definitely deeper on the cylinder wall than the center of the cylinder. Nice uh, clean casting. They, they actually look like they're painted or or coated with something. This black. Uh, coating. I don't know exactly what that is, but if they put it in the combustion chamber, it must be heat rated. You know, it's in the exhaust ports. I don't think it's... The only thing that would last in the exhaust ports is probably a ceramic. Are they ceramic coated? I don't know. I did take a quick look at uh, the Promax uh, website just to get an idea of uh, what they flowed after I flowed them. My original guess, I'll show you what I wrote down. Just by looking at them, I figured they'd flow about 265 on the intake and 185 on the exhaust. They say they're a 200. I'm going to have to uh, actually CC one before I cut, cut them all. But they look bigger than 200 to me. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be hard to get any decent visuals because it's black. Okay, this is the one I float. You can still see it has a little clay on it. This is on number eight. It's got uh, a good size pinch. It's cut, already cut for uh, 1206, so I used my 1206 hard radius. It's got a decent bump where the, uh, the bolt boss goes through. The one comment I do have about these heads is the heads don't weigh a lot. How light are they? Well, they feel like the old aluminum Corvette heads from the 90s. Those were really light castings. And you had to be careful how, how much you cut on them. This is the first time I've seen these. It looks like they got a decent amount of metal on the pinch, but it doesn't look like the pinch is hurting us as we sit right now. The short side's got a pretty darn good shape. The way it is. You know, like, but if it's, if it's, uh, copy of a Brodex. I don't know exactly which Brodex this would be. Um, I'm not that up on my Brodex. But uh, you can see by the exhaust port. Let's take a look at the exhaust port. Okay, that looks like a Brodex exhaust port to me. Nice D-shape. Works quite well just the way it is before I even touch it. Will I be able to get more out of it? Sure, not a problem. Now the project these are going on. These are from my buddy James in California. 408, 11 to 1. Pretty decent street ride. He's looking for a 600 plus horse out of these. That is not the easiest thing in the world to to get out of a small block Chevy, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a good shot. What do I have to do? Well, he said I could cut them for bigger valves. They're 20216s right now, but if I don't have to do all that extra work putting oversized valves in, I'd rather not. I'd rather be able to do it with a 202 if I can, because this is a limited price job. And he wants it yesterday, and I still have to finish the TPI project. So I gotta, I gotta not goof off. I gotta get myself moving in a, in a high rate of speed. Okay, the blending on the short side looks quite good. Can't complain about that, really. Whoever. Whoever did these did a pretty darn good job on the short side on the intake. 
the blend on the exhaust is not horrible. I've seen a lot worse. Okay, but they're ready to get going. Yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to take that bottom cut and I'm going to do my radius like I always do because uh, I know it helps a little bit. So, what does what does Promax say these these do out of the box? Well, let's take a look at their website and we'll see what Charlie's Bench says. Okay, so that's what they are. Let's put that phone right next to the flow sheet and see what we got. Okay, so we got a 202 with a back cut. We got a, a 16 without a back cut. They are uh, neck down. Let's see what they got. They got 100 at 100. This is going to suck because I have this going on and off quickly. All right, 71 at 100. 71.7 at 200, 146, 200, 139.8, 300, 206, 202.2, 400, 242, 246.8, 500, 265, which was what I was expecting out of these, 269.6. 200, 277, 282.3, 700, 281, 285.5. Not bad. Not bad for an out-of-the-box head with a little blending. Let's take a, a quick look at the, the exhaust and see how close those are. All right, 100 is 54. I got 52. 111. I got 89.6. I had some decent amount of noise right in here. Okay, 300, I had 155, 128. Down quite a bit. At 400, they say 179. I was 154.6. At 500, I got, they got 193. I got 171. 600, they got 199. 600, I got 181. At 700, they got 201. I got 168. Now, I didn't check to see if those numbers were with a pipe. They may, they may, I just took a picture of that. Uh, so, those numbers may be with a pipe. With a pipe, all right, they got 201, I got 205. All right, that's pretty close. Uh, you'll have to check on the website for that uh, for me. But overall, uh, the exhaust did almost exactly what I figured it would. I figured it would go about one, 185 at 600 when it did 181. Not bad. It, just by looking at it, as you know, got a good shape. I like the D shape. I'm not overly thrilled with it, but it's a good design. Obviously, I had a problem with my swirl meter. It just, uh, it spins, but it's not getting a signal, so I got to take it all apart and uh, check the uh, reluctor and uh, check the optical sensor. Sorry about that, guys. Can't win them all. Okay, how we do as far as speeds? At our pinch, a pinch is relatively big, right? It's pretty much dead on the roof fast in the middle, fast on the bottom. Not bad though, overall. Okay, roof of our port, huge speed discrepancy. Okay, they put a lot more area on this side because the port is a lot deeper. And uh, you got a lot more airspeed there. So I'm pretty sure we could fix that a little bit. The short side is actually quite good. Like I said, it's got a nice shape, and whoever blended it did a nice job. It's a little fast, but this was right at 600. At 600, we're flowing 282. It's not bad. Could we improve that? I'd like to get them a little closer. Not bad, though, considering what it is. All right, take a quick look at our exhaust. Across the top, good speed, right? to D port, so it works. How about the center? 
a little bit faster at the center of the cylinder. Not bad. A little bit lower here. Not bad. Floor, not completely dead here. Got good speed on the floor in the center. And it's not terrible over here. Could we get it better? Probably. Good chance when I radius uh, that lower cut, it's really going to mess with these. But we'll see what we can do. Overall, the head looks pretty good. Uh, you know, the finish on the deck, yeah, it's got it's got some dirt from being bolted to the bench. That's some glue from some tape. Right, it's got uh, it's got a nice finish on it. It's quite pretty with the black, whatever they coat it with. You know, it's a it's a decent looking head. The end looks pretty. I know you guys think pretty equals fast, so this is this is right in your wheelhouse. It's got bronze guides, which is always great if they're good quality bronze. I don't know. I mean, Pro Max has been around for a while. I would think they probably got all the bugs out of these by now. I'm sure they sell a lot of these because they're they're not a super expensive head. Now, as far as the weight. You know, I'll have to do some measuring and see where I can uh, take some metal out. i got to be careful. I can't ruin these. James would kill me. In any case, i got to get busy. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.